Hey people, this is Sharpin and here. Welcome you guys to week two of the PMC League Battles. Oh, hold on, we got a friendly. This is our opponent, Cloud Envy. So, if you guys are. It's kind of really my introduction, damn you. But, uh, you know what, I'll be all good. If you guys are excited for this Wi Fi bell and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad and this coach of the Sydney Crooked Eyes, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. So, as you guys know, we are going against the Jersey Dwebbles for week two of the PMC here. We had, unfortunately, some bad luck in the first week, losing 5-0, getting destroyed. But hopefully this week, we will have some better luck here. As you guys can see down below, we do have a team. Uh, what uh, Pokemon we think that um, my opponent will be bringing with us him today. So, a lot of threat to his team here. We do, like I said, see the Keldeo, the Landorus T. Um, possibly that Choice Guard Gardevoir would definitely be an issue for my Mega. Uh, but we do have some answers with the Dragalge being fully HP, full special defense. And we do have the, um, like I said, we do have a lot of Pokemon that generally have speed. The only thing, like I said, the issue is going to be is he has those Choice Scarfers, which is why we're going to have Mega Sableye actually scouting out for that. So, we're here now, let's go ahead and get this battle started here. Looking forward to this because me and Cloud were talking about battling in Season 1, but we never got the opportunity because we were in different divisions. And today we get that opportunity. So, like I said, we come prepared now, we are ready to go. Let's see him, let's see his team here, let's see what he's bringing today. I'm actually going to make notes today, so I don't make the same mistakes as I did last week here. That's probably definitely the way to go here. So, let's have a look at his team here. Okay, so he's brought a lot of poke. Wow, he didn't bring the Keldeo? Well, that works out for me. Alright, so... Let's see here, so he's brought the Ninetales. Let's see, Ninetales, where are you? Ninetales, there we go. Let's make it do that, there we go. So he did bring the Landorus T, he did bring the Hacks and the Gardevoir, so we got about four Pokemon correct. The only two Pokemon that we didn't get was the, uh, there's no, uh, Chichino, and there's no... Oh, yeah. uh, there's no, um, mm, 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 what is it? Okay, I'm kind of my train of thought. Uh, let's see, Chia, Chino, where is it? There you are. So, like last week, we got four Pokemon predicted correctly, which is good for us here. Um, so, I'm going to make a note of this. So, Nine Tails, Axorus, Gardevoir, a Landorus, um, Chichino. And the last so. Alright, so we'll just make some notes as we go along here. I want to try to improve from last week here. So we do have less than 30 seconds. Okay, looking at his team here. Um possible start-offs is probably the um the Landorus. So um I'm gonna go off and start off with the uh crocodile just to get that initiative. So I've got a feeling he's gonna actually no no no, you know what? No 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 withdraw, withdraw. Let's let Dragalge go first because if we is oh wait, where do I do that? No 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 no. God damn it. Okay, uh shit 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 shit. No uh, fuck, I kinda of screwed up here. Um we've gotta go ahead and restart this, so we'll be right back when we get this thing restarted, I do. And we are back guys, now we've got six Pokemon apiece, so we are good to go here, so Thank you to Cloud for um, allowing that. I was kind of like I said, got in the midst of discussion, bringing the layouts, everything ready to go here. So, best of luck to um, Cloud and the Jersey Dwebbles. But hopefully, 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 the Sydney Crocodiles can pull out a win so we can go for 1 1 instead of uh, 0 2, which would obviously look a little bit better. And I hope my capture card's not going to have issues like I did last week, which will be a pain in the ass. So, we're going to start off with our town playing here. And he's going to start with Dagger. Now Dagger's going to be the Chinchino. Now, I'm just going to. I'm just trying to figure out what Pokemon, or I mean, what moveset set it wants to have. So, now I'm just going to have a look. There's a little think over here. So Chinchino. So this is more likely going to be a choice Scarfer, but I'm just trying to figure out what he's going to go into. So he could predict and go swap into the. Um, Zapdos predicting the Brave Bird, or I can go into the Landorus predicting the uh, Brave Bird, but he does get access to Rock Blast, which I am not a big fan of. So, <sighs> just trying to think, because Rock Blast is such a big move on this Chichino right here, it really is. And the fact it could be Choice Scarfed, I don't want to run to Brave Bird and then see it just die straight off the bat. So, but if he U turns, um, if he U turns, um, if we bring a Crocodile, we just take extra damage for nothing. And then he'll bring the Landorus and go for the Intimidate drops. So... Ugh, gotta love those moves. Alright, so... 
I'm just gonna make the safe play here and just keep the um the what's it town flank here. I'm gonna expect him to go for rock blast, so I'm gonna swap into town into crocodile, get the intimidate drop, and hope he does go for the rock blast. Because if he does, we can go ahead and see what he wants to go for. So we get the intimidate drop. Let's see what movie goes for. He actually swaps out as well, so we kind of predicted that it brings an avalanche, which is the um. The Landorus T. So that actually worked out pretty well for us, but unfortunately we are now one attack less. So, I'm just trying to think what we're going to do here. So we could go for a Crunch, we could go for an Aqua Tail, which is really what I want to try to do, but um, just trying to see what he wants to do here. So, he could go for U-Turn, and it does a little bit of damage to us. I'm going to go ahead and just think, what is he going to bring in though? What, what would be his answer to a, a Crunch? He doesn't really have anything that wants to take on a crunch. But if he U-turns and brings in the Nine Tails, that'd be pretty bad. So I could predict the U-turn into Nine Tails. Ah, uh, just trying to think. What moves would, would Landris do? What would Landris want to do to us? What would Landris like to do to us? <sighs> he does get the intimidate drop on us, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and fire off a... I feel like it's just going to go for Crunch. I really think it's just going to go for Crunch. Um, oh, he's going to go for a... Uh, he's going to go for a U-turn. I'm going to fire a Crunch expecting the U-turn to come out. That's really all I can do is just... I'm just going to go for the Crunch expecting him to go for U-turn. Because really that's the only move I can see him going for. Unless it's like an offensive uh, Landorus. And then he'll try to go for his own earthquake, but he do have a negative one, um, negative one attack. So I don't even think an Aqua Tail would even kill from this range if it's a a bulky Landorus. So like I said, we're just going to go for the Crunch and just see what he wants to go for. Because Crunch, I mean, besides earthquake, I don't want to predict him going to a U-turn to Zapdos, and I'm just left like with an earthquake prediction going wrong. We are speed. Okay, so he's not an offensive set. Um, Wow, that does nothing. That's a, that's a bulky. And he actually goes off for Earthquake. And that does well over half. So we're going to see here Earthquake. So, hack, that was Landorus, Earthquake. But outsped by... Okay, so that's a physical war then. Outsped by Crocodile. Alright, so now... Now we know that it's a, a bulky mod. I'm just trying to think what would be our best option. Because... If he goes for Earthquake again, if we can go into Swellow, predicting the Earthquake again, that would work wonders. And then we can go ahead, so I'm going to go ahead and swap into the Swellow, um, so we can go ahead and get our, uh, our Toxic Orb, which actually would work well if he does in fact go for Earthquake again. If he goes for a Rock-type move, we're pretty bad. Go into Swellow, he's going to go for U-Turn, so... That actually didn't work out, that actually wasn't too bad, so... He kind of predicted us to swap, which was a good which is a good swap for him. Maybe he expected us to swap into the Celebi, but um, that wouldn't make sense, like I said, because he could be expecting us to um, stay in to take the Earthquake. But if that's the case, like, he's pretty slow. If Crocodile outspeeds, um, Celebi would outspeed as well. So that actually works out for us. So like I said, he could have been predicting uh, for the... Um, <sighs> trying to predict for the... Man, my chest is really racing here. <laughs> And because being Cloud have always discussed uh, versing each other in battle. Let me just turn and turn this volume down a bit. It just seems a little bit loud here, so there we go. Alright, so like I said, now he's just deciding what he wants to do with this Swellow because he knows that um, unless he's going to bring a choice Garthmon, uh, then Swellow is going to pretty much wreck house on him because he knows now the Toxic Orb will now set in. So. And because, like I said, the only reason Swellow does, it is Jolly Set, it's not Adamant, so we will outspeed a lot of the Pokemon his team, except if it's Choice Scarf. That's the only thing that's going to be an issue, is that if he's Choice Scarfed, that's going to be an issue. So, he's taking his time here, just trying to decide which Pokemon he's going to bring out here, which is fair enough. Scarlet Watch, that's a Gardevoir. No, it's the Nine Tails. That's interesting. That is actually pretty interesting. So now the question is, is this, is this... Ninetales Scarfed. Is this Ninetales Scarfed? Ninetales' base speed is 100. We are base 125. So, if he Scarfed, 
if he's scarfed. That's the real issue, is if he's scarfed, he will outspeed and destroy my Swellow. But I don't want to lose Swellow right now. I really feel like we should swap into Dragalge. Dragalge would be the best answer, because even if he goes for the Flamethrower, if he swaps out, I'm going to assume that he's scarfed. So I'm going to go ahead and make a swap into... Um, I'm going to make a swap into Dragalge, expecting him going for the Flamethrower, because if he does go for Flamethrower and Swellow, if he is scarfed, he will outspeed and destroy my Swellow. So... Hopefully I made the right call by going to Dragalge here, let's hope. So in comes Dragalge, and he goes for the double swap. Wow, okay. He's going to bring out Avalanche, which is the Landorus. Wow. That was... <laughs> fantastic. That was amazing. So he predicted us swapping to Dragalge, now his Landorus out. Now, the question is, I'm sure he'll our speed. I'm just trying to think... Earthquake is just such an issue. Earthquake is such an issue. I just don't like Earthquake. So does he go for Earthquake or does he go for U-Turn? If he goes for Earthquake and we go Celebi, we're good. If he goes into... If we go into Crookedile and goes for U-Turn, we just lose a lot more health. Oh my god, this is so fucking bad. I just hate this game so much. Or we can switch into Talonflame, which would take both better. So I'm going to go ahead and swap into Talonflame. Predicting him to go for the U-turn or the Earthquake, because U-turn or Earthquake uh, to Talonflame will not do us too bad. Like I said, if he goes for Earthquake, that's great. If he goes for U-turn, then he just gets extra initiative. He's going to go for Stone Age. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's rough! He misses the Stone Age, predicting us to go to Talonflame. Oh my god, that is such horse shit. For him, anyway. Oh my god. Wow, that is so bad. I feel so bad for him. I, I'm so sorry, Cloud. Now is the time to use that natural gift, Gallon Berry. Let's do it. This is exactly the situation we were waiting for. Unfortunately, he missed the Stone Edge, but now's the time. Now is the time. Natural gift, Gallon Berry comes through. If he stays in, we land it. He's got the Yachi Berry. Oh my god, he predicted us. That does nothing. Oh my god, he actually predicted us to bring it. He's going to go for Stone Edge. It's going to land. It's going to kill my town flame here. Very, very well done. Very well done. Very well done. I, I had to give props to him. I had to give props to him. He, he came through with that. So, oh my god, man. This, this battle, like I said. So, Talonflame, kill, oh, Talonflame died by Landorus. Oh my god, man. This battle. <laughs> and this is exactly what I was talking about. So now, now we have the free initiative to swap into Swellow. Or do we even need to go to Swellow? Because... Yeah, we actually do need to swap in Swellow. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we need to swap in Swellow. Because Swellow will have enough bulk to take out the Landorus. And like I said, this will give him initiative to swap into the Ninetales. Because I've got a pretty good feel. I've got a feeling that um, his Ninetales is in fact Scarfed. So if I know him, he's actually going to go ahead and let this uh, Landorus die to the facade. I think it's done its job by uh, pretty much locking us with the... Um, locking us into bringing the Town Flame. And he got rid of the threat. So... So, Swellow kills Landorus. So, Swellow kills Landorus. So now, he's going to probably bring in that Ninetales now. I've got a feeling he's going to try to reset up that Sun again. But I think that Ninetales is in fact Scarfed. Something just tells me it's Scarfed. Because he wouldn't have that much courage going to Swellow unless he knew he was going to outspeed it. That or he's just a mad bluffer because he swapped out, predicting us swap into Dragalge with Landorus. So now, Dragalge actually has a better time against his team now that Landorus is gone. So, that actually works out for us very well. Man, this battle, like I said, people, this battle does get pretty intense. So, we're down now 5-5, five to five, and like I said, it's just a matter of him bringing in the, um, bringing in the Ninetales. But now that we've got with Landorus, our Dragalge actually has a bit more breathing space, knowing that the one Pokemon that could hurt it is gone. Well, I mean, he could, I mean, the Haxorus could definitely hurt it, but Pax Earthquake, which I'm pretty sure he does, because he was expecting us to bring Dragalge. Dragalge. Um, but he, does, he could bring Outrage, um, Outrage Haxorus, which is pretty scary, but, um, now the thing is that, uh, with, with, uh, Crookedile being at half health, it obviously is a bit of an issue, but, you know, there's not much we can do about it. Um, so, like I said, we're just now waiting on this decision here, the, the tension is really getting to me, people, <laughs> it really is. I'm just, like, freaking out here. Like, the only thing he could try to do is to bring in Ninetales to kind of bluff the, um, 
like the, this choice scarf on Nine Tails. If in fact it is a choice scarf, uh, but something tells me it is just because I mean it's base 100 speed. So I mean he could bring it uh, just on the off chance, or he could try to go for a mad bluff here. That's the only thing. So the question is, what on his team does he need? Storm. What is Storm? Storm is the Zapdos. That's interesting. So. What does he want to do? I'm just curious. Let me quickly just calc this for a second. I need to actually see Pokemon calculations. How much would a facade do to a Zapdos? So, Swellow, uh, Guts Attacker against Zapdos, defensive. Are you defensive? How much would a facade do? That would do 68%. So, it's guaranteed to hit KO, but it won't kill. So, with that said, um, I'm just trying to think what he wants to do though, because I mean, I don't want to get a Swallow, but I can see Swallow doing so much to his team, and I've got a feeling he's going to try to make another prediction here, into Dragalge, or into even to Crocodile actually. He could go for the HP Ice, how much would a HP Ice do to a Swallow? Uh, let me just see here, how much, oh wait, we're running out of time, we've got 40 seconds, we've still got time. Uh, let's go for a, um, what is it, HP Hidden Power Ice, where are you? Hidden Power Ice. How much would a Hidden Power Ice do to me? That would do a lot more damage. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap into... I'm going to swap into Gouji, expecting him to go for the HP Ice. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of Pokemon team don't like Ice. So, I've got a feeling he's going to go for HP Ice, expecting me to bring in either Crocodile or the Dragalge. Now, Dragalge will actually take on this a lot better. He's actually going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. So, I probably could have gone into the... Um, the Crocodile here, and we're going to see Life Orb. Alright, so we're going to see Life Orb on that there. So, uh, where's a Zapdos, Life Orb, Thunderbolt. So that is actually a offensive uh, Zapdos. So that's actually pretty cool. Usually you expect the, um, the physically defensive, but this works out even better. So what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to try to go ahead and set up a um, Toxic Spikes. Because really, this, this Zapdos really can't touch us. So, I'm going to set up the layer of Toxic Spikes. And if he wants to get rid of it, he has to actually go ahead and, um, like I said, just uh, defog it with the, um, the Zapdos. Because that's now his only way of getting rid of the Toxic Spikes. Now, he's probably calculating how much a Hidden Power Ice would do to a Dragalge. I'm actually going to calculate that right now. So, let's swap over to Dragalge. Dragalge, especially defensive. HP Ice. That's going to do less than... That's going to do 25%. So, that's going to do... At most, it will do 20, a quarter of my um, my health there. Is that with max HP, max special defense? It isn't. It's just with a little speed investment. So, I'm curious to see if he wants to go ahead and set up the... Like I said, I'm predicting him to swap because he really can't touch except for the HP Ice. That's really the only thing he can do that can really hurt my team, um, my Dragalge here. Just waiting for the time to dwindle down here. He's actually going to withdraw, so we actually made the right call. He's probably going to go to Gardevoir, expecting the... No, he's going to bring in the... The Nine Tails. That's actually pretty interesting. So maybe he was expecting us to go for an Ice-type move. But we're going to set up one layer of Toxic Spikes here. So that actually works out for us just fine. Alright, now that we're seeing... This probably might be an Assault Vest. Uh, he could be Choice Scarf or Assault Vest, depending which way. We're going to go ahead and fire off a Sludge Wave to see how much damage it's going to do to this Nine Tails. Actually, I want to check how much Special Defense a Nine Tails has. Actually, I need to check that. So... Nine tails. How much? Uh, was it? Let's go. Nasty plot set. He, ooh, he could go for nasty plot. Uh, special defense. Well, let's see what he's going to go for. I, I, I'm just going to fire for sludge wave here, just to see how much damage he's going to do to us. He might have HP ground on the um, on the nine tails into my dragalgy, but I don't think he would. So we'll just see how we go here in this matchup here. So I'm going to fire for sludge wave. I'm expecting him to swap into the Gardevoir now that he's brought in that. He might just go for another double swap, expecting me to go for Drake and Meteor. So, it just comes down to what he personally thinks I'm going to do. So, again, very interesting battle to say the least, but we're going to see what he wants to do here. He's going to go for Psy Shock. Oh, he gets access to Psy Shock. Oh, shit. I did not see that. And that's another Life Orb. What the fuck? Wow, I was not expecting that Psy Shock. Whoa. Okay, 
Okay, that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Ninetales, Psy Shock. I did not even read that. I did not read that. Psy Shock. Alright. Nikes. So, now we can decide whether we're going to swap into Crookedal and we're going to just try to debate it or it's going to actually go for a, another Psy Shock to kill. So, what Pokemon on my team do I really... Am I going to let this go? Do I really need it? I think I do because it really answers the Zapdos. But he could go for another, he could go for the fire time move, expecting me to swap into Crookedile. So I'm going to make a risky play here. I'm going to make a risky play here. I'm actually going to go ahead and swap it. I'm going to actually go for another Sludge Wave, expecting him to go for the Flamethrower, expecting me to swap. I'm hoping it's going to pay off here. I really hope it's going to pay off here. If he goes for Psychic again, that's it. He goes for Fire Blast. So hopefully we can live it. We do! Let's go! Let's go! We made the prediction! Let's go! And there goes the Nine Tails. Woo! Alright, Dragalgy, let's go! Alright, so Dragalgy kills Tails. Beautiful! Fantastic! Fantastic! So we made the prediction to make him think we were going to actually let it go, but in fact we weren't. And now he's lost his nine tails. So that's fantastic because, like I said, the Zapdos really can't touch the Dragalgy. Now the question is, what is he going to bring now? He could go for into the Chichino or the Gardevoir here, but I'm just trying to think here because now we've, he's lost um, the Landorus and the nine tails. We still need the Dragalgy in for the Zapdos. He's going to bring in Frank Castle. That's the Gardevoir. Alrighty. So now he's going to bring Trace. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, wow. I... Wow. Okay. That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. <sighs> I don't know if I want to let go of Dragalge at this point, just because I still know I could do work against the, um, the Zapdos. Because Thunderbolt uh, did about 20 damage, so we could be able to live one hit. <sighs> and now with Adaptability... Wow, this is what he was waiting for. This is exactly what he was waiting for. Celebi can still wall the Zapdos. I'm just going to go ahead and let the Dragalgy go down. He's probably going to fire for Moonblast. And like I said, if he's Choice Scarfed into Tracing, man, that's going to be so hard to deal with. So, <laughs> unnecessary crit. So, uh, Gardevoir kills. Um, Gardevoir kills Dragalgy. Okay, this is actually a little bit bad because, if, like I said, if he's Choice Scarfed, we pretty much, I think, lose this game. If he's Choice Scarfed. Because now... That can't really do much else. Um... I'm going to bring in the Swellow. I'm going to bring the Swellow. Unfortunately, I have to actually bring in the Swellow. Unfortunately, I have to bring in the Swellow. Like I said, if he is Choice Scarfed, this is the one Pokemon we can't use Mega Sableye really well against, is this piece of crap here. <sighs> this is going to reveal to me right now if he's in, cho is in fact Choice Scarfed. Because if he's Choice Scarfed into Moonblast, we are in a world of trouble, and I think we're going to lose if that is the case. So I do know he has speed, but... <sighs> man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, oh boy, oh man. Why have I got this feeling he's Choice Scarfed? I've got the feeling he's Choice Scarfed. I'm gonna go for the Facade. Let's see that Choice Scarf. I'm gonna go for the Facade. If he has speed, he's Choice Scarfed. We have speed! Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! The tension was killing me! Swellow kills Gardevoir. Oh my god, I thought he was Scarfed! I thought he was scarfed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is terrifying. That is fucking terrifying. Storm, which is the Zapdos. Alright, so now that he's got rid of the Dragalgy. Alright, so we still don't have enough to kill this uh, this Zapdos here. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and swap into Celebi. Now, if he predicts that and goes for a U-turn with the Zapdos, I will clap for him because now that the gouge is gone, the Zapdos really can't do anything except go for the U-turn. That's the only thing he can go for that could really hurt my Celebi. And if he does go for the Thunderbolt, that's great. And we can try to set up on this uh, Zapdos here, which would be nice. It would be nice, but we'll just see how things go here. Just because, like I said, he could pack the um, the U-turn, but you know what? He may not predict that. But if he does have HP Ice, actually, let me see how much damage a HP Ice does. So let's go to Zapdos, OU, physically defensive, against a Celebi, OU Baton Pass. So let's see how much damage, let's see, H Hidden Power Ice. Where are you, Ice? HP Ice will do to a Celebi 69.4% chance. So with the leftovers, we'll be able to live, it does 20 set the lowest, and it does the maximum 32%. So we're going to bring Selby. Let's see if he does in fact go for the hidden pass. He's going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. So we eat that up fairly well. It does about a quarter of health, which isn't too bad. Do get the leftovers recovery, but I really need to get rid of this Zapdos because now the Zapdos is the only thing that's really stopping me from doing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a substitute. If he does have a U-turn, like I said, it is unfortunate, but it can't be helped. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, set up a substitute. Hopefully he does go for a swap, so it gives us a clean uh, substitute setup. He's going to withdraw. Perfect! Exactly what we were waiting for. He's going to bring in Carnage, which is the Haxorus. There we go. I'm going to see our poison go off. Unnerve. No berries. Was he afraid of the certain berry we're going to have? So we get a free substitute off, so that works out very well for us. Get that leftovers off, and now he's going to take a little bit of poison damage. So uh, that works out for us fantastic that he can't actually touch us. So now we can actually go ahead and fire off a free psychic. There's no real point to going for a um, there's no real point going for a calm mind here because if I know he's going to try to fire off an outrage, like he does now. He's going to make the Celebi fade, so like I said, there was no point in doing that. The only thing I could have possibly done was try to set up for a um, another substitute to kind of stall out the poison. That's really the only thing I could have thought of that I might do here. But now he's locked into uh, the Outrage here. The poison's going to really set in now. And um, I'm just trying to think what I could do here now. I could swap into the Sableye, but I don't want him to take, really take on that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Crocodile and let him try to fend off an Outrage. Oh, basically, take on an Outrage plus an Intimidate, just because he really can't do anything else. So, we'll go ahead and bring in the uh, Crocodile here, get the Intimidate drop off, and hopefully we can take this Outrage very well. Like I said, we'll just see how we go. So, Outrage comes through, and that is gonna kill us. So, that is unfortunate. Um, let's see, so, uh, what was it? Uh, Haxorus kills, uh, Haxorus kills uh, Crocodile. Alright, so now... <sighs> what are my options? Oh, we can bring in Swellow. Great, we can bring in Swellow. Bring in Swellow, go for the quick attack, reveal the quick attack, and then we can go ahead and finish it off. So Swellow's back. Swellow! So let's go ahead, go for a quick attack, and that should finish off the Haxorus. I mean, it should. Quick attack, go! Beautiful! Swellow coming with the win here. So Swellow kills Haxorus. Great! So, like I said, exchanging deaths back and forth, back and forth. So that isn't, like, a too bad. Now that he's probably going to bring back in the Zapdos, so... All he has left now is the Zapdos and the Chinchino. I'm going to thinking the Chinchino is a... I'm guessing the Chinchino is in fact not Scarf, otherwise he would have brought that in right now. But, we're going to go ahead and bring back in the Celebi, just because, like I said, the Celebi really can't... Uh, the Celebi can possibly set up on the Zapdos here, which would actually work out pretty well. Um, especially now that we have Calm Minds. Um, basically, like I said, he can't really touch us. And if we can try and stall out the Life Orb, um, if he does in fact get the kill on Celebi, we do have enough to kind of 
uh, take out with the um, the calm minds here. So that was a crit. It wasn't a crit. Wow. Okay. So get that leftovers recovery there. Way to go. So I think at this point, really, there's no need for us to go ahead and set up the, the Calm Mind here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fire off a Psychic against the, um, the Zapdos here. And we'll just take it from there. Because, like, now at this point, the Life Orb is just going to whittle away his life. Like I said, if he's had U-turn this whole time and it's just waited for this, um, I don't know why. He's had plenty of... He has a U-turn. Okay. And we live it! Really? Wow! But then we are physically defensive and HP, but yeah, then again, Zapdos has no attack. I can't believe we live that! I can't believe we live that! What the fuck? Okay! That actually works out for us, because if now he's expecting us to go for substitute. Um, great. So it's a good thing we went for the Psychic. He's gonna get poisoned. Fantastic. We're gonna go for our Psychic here. Wow, that does a lot of damage there. So we're looking pretty good right here. I'm actually liking this quite a bit. So I'm gonna get that poison whittled down there. Very good. Now I'm just trying to think what access to moves to what to get. So Well, Celebi really can't do much else, and I'm pretty sure that Chichino is actually gonna outspeed us, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to let Celebi go, we're going to go for a Psychic, more like it's going to outspeed here, but it does give us that room to go for the Quick Attack with the Spellow, so it actually works out pretty well here. <sighs> can't believe how well Spellow is doing, and it's really unfortunate, and you guys will see next week why I say that it's unfortunate that Swellow uh, is doing so well in this battle. I mean, he's good, he's doing fantastic in this battle, which I'm actually surprised by, like I said, the fact that he's actually doing so well in this battle. Um, He's going to go for Rock Blast, so he does in fact have the Rock Blast there. So I kind of had a feeling he would, but he's Skill Link, so I doubt he would get just two hits. So yeah, so we'll write that down. So Chinchino kills um, the Celebi. Now that's all that's left is to go ahead and bring in the um, the Swallow, because now it comes down to a face-off between the um, face-off between Spellow and the Zapdos. So. This actually is going to be, like I said, a very interesting battle to say the least. Go ahead and swallow! Let's go for a quick attack on the um, the Chinchino, which is, like I said, is good. We have seen the Life Orb on the Zapdos, so I'm pretty sure that we should be able to outspeed irrespective of anything else. So here we go, we go for the quick attack. That's going to get the kill. Swallow, 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 uh-oh. Swallow kills... Kills Chinchino. So all that's left now is the Zapdos. So it, it, it's still anyone's game here. I mean, Mega Sableye can do a lot, but it's not especially defensive. So I don't know how much it can take uh, of a physically, uh, I mean, it's physically defensive uh, from an, um, like I said there. So we're gonna go ahead and fire a facade against this uh, this Zapdos. Let's hope for the best. I'm sure. I know we have speed. Can we get the win though? Is the real question. Because, like I said, it does about 60-something percent. Which, like I said, at this rate, it does look like we'll do a good damage. <sighs> and we did it! Swell I killed the Zapdos. Woo! City Crookedals for the win! Let's go! So we beat the Jersey Dwebbles 2-0 uh, there. A great, great battle uh, to Cloud there. Unfortunate that he did, in fact, miss... The, um, the Stone Edge on the Town Flame there, that one miss is the only thing I could say that was an issue. But other than that though, man, this battle was insane. I, I, I tell you guys, I always tell you guys that these battles are like insane. Insane competitive battles. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say. I can't believe we won. Um, we did pull through. Fantastic job uh, for us here. So now we're sitting at 1-1. One, one. Um, next week, I believe, let me quickly go ahead and check the schedules to see who we're going to go up against. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think next week we're actually taking on... I'm just trying to remember who it is. Just trying to remember who it is. Uh, documents, documents, documents. There we go. Let's see, who are we versing next week? Just so we've got something to look forward to uh, next week. Week three, we are up against the, um, the Greninja. The Great Lake Greninja. So stay tuned next week for the Wi-Fi battle. Uh, team prep, sorry. And then the Wi-Fi battle against the Great Lake Greninja's. 
I'm so happy, man. We got the first win here. Fantastic. And I can look forward to bigger and better things from the Sydney Cricket Isle. So until the next time I see you guys, uh, stay safe. Excuse me. Oh, God, let me try it again. Uh, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.